It's all about Wiltshire. BBC Radio Wiltshire. Let's talk about this big event in Castle Coombe then that's happening today. A massive effort to raise uh, funds for yet another of Wiltshire's churches. Uh, villagers rallying round to help restore St Andrews at Castle Coombe near Chippenham. Biggest event in the village for years, as I've said. Live music, stalls, arts and crafts this afternoon. One of those involved is Will Lawton. Morning, Will. Morning. Uh, this is St Andrews Church. Isn't there a problem with the floor? Yeah. It's, usually it's the roof in a church. No, it's not very glamorous. It's the floor. It's, the floor. it's full of wet rot and dry rot and all sorts of rot basically if, if you go down there today and you walk into the church they've uh, pulled some of the floorboards back and you can see very clearly the sort of extent of the damage and the reason why it's in quite desperate desperate state of repair really. yeah, I, I was reading through some of your information on your website and it's uh, kind of blaming the victorians for ruin the, ruining the floor yeah and all <laughs> around the entrance area it's done in We've always thought it's done in sort of old Victorian stonework, but it's not. It's actually just plaster work and it's falling away, so... <laughs> Bit of a bodge job by the Victorians. Bit of a bodge job, yeah. 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 Well, so why are you involved in this? Because it's a big thing, Coombe Sunday, you've got the T-shirt on even as well. Yeah. But you don't actually go to the church yourself, apart from the odd wedding and... Yeah, a friend whatever. got married there last year. Um, and, and, and occasionally I do, but a, quite a large group of us grew up in and around the village. Uh, and... Be with the village and the Market Cross and the church being such a sort of beautiful location and a sort of central meeting point for a lot of us, uh, to hear that it was in, it needed some work doing on it and had to have this money done, otherwise it may be closed, is going to affect the sort of look and feel of the village. So, yeah. And it's about 80 grand, isn't it? Yeah, they need 80 grand in two years. There's a series of weekends being run throughout this summer in Castle Coombe. Um, Coombe Sunday forming one part of those weekends. Well, tell us a bit about today then, because it's it's music, it's it's duck racing, it's stalls, it's all yeah, sorts. Yeah, it's running from half two till half eight. Um, it's got, there's about six uh, bands, local bands and musicians uh, taking part on the main stage, which we've built off the Market Cross there. Uh, there's things like the famous Castle Coombe duck race, where you pay a pound, you buy a little plastic yellow duck, and once all the ducks are sold, they drop them in the river at one bridge. Uh, the first duck to cross the next bridge wins a cash prize. Do you get to keep your duck afterwards? Uh, I think the winner, the winning, <laughs> the winner gets to keep his duck. Everyone else will recycle the ducks and have another race. So. All right. Well, it's got to raise more money, hasn't Come it? On, yeah, exactly. exactly. Now the music, because you might think, oh, is it going to be loud, loud nonsense? But it's quite a variety, isn't it? Yeah, complete variety. The first band on do sort of covers, Coldplay style things. We've got uh, jazz, a bit of jazz there. We've got country music, a local band called the Huckleberries, who've often found busking in and around Bath. Uh, they're sort of headlining it. Uh, myself, we're in a band called Orangutan. We're yeah, around. Orangutan. You've bought one of your CDs, and I'm just going to play just a little bit of it, so we can get a flavour of what you sound like. So, yeah. what part do you play in this? Um, I'm singing a little bit in this. It's a bit of a comedy song, a country song, tongue in cheek, but uh, yeah, it's called Pylons. A little bit of a flavour then, where did you record that? Uh, well in fact there's about 18 people singing on that, we did it in a barn, um, <laughs> just outside of Grittleton around that area. True country stuff, you, yeah, you can't yeah. tell it's in a barn outside Grittleton, it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a fun song, so what time, is, uh, what time are orangutan on? Oh, we're playing at about 6 o'clock tonight. Okay, so late it starts at 2.30, what time does it finish? Uh, it finishes at half past 8. Only half past eight. Right. I thought bank holiday weekend. It'd go on into the early hours. No, well, we've got the villagers to consider as well. It's quite a big, a big, big upheaval for, for everyone, really. So, how, know, how much do you think you're going to raise today? Um, it'd be great if we could raise something like five thousand um, pounds. Judging by the sort of interest, I think that's quite realistic. And um, that's what we aim for. Anything over or whatever we raise is, is brilliant. But. Uh, we well, got the weather for it today because it looks like it's going to rain tomorrow. Maybe just a few showers today, but you can you can make do with those. Uh, just a quick mention of a couple of people because I know loads of looking at the posters and things. Loads of local companies have got involved. Yeah, they have, and it has been amazing how everyone has done so many things for free as well. People like there's a local building firm called Stonewood who, who've sponsored the actual main stage, which is all, all set up now. We were setting that up yesterday. There's I think people like the hotel in Castle Coombe, there's the Manor House, and they've just been fantastic. They're allowing helicopter rides to be run from their grounds today. They've put bands up in, in, the, in the hotel. Uh, they've donated bed, dinner, bed and breakfast. Uh, Bath Ales are actually producing a limited edition Castle Ale, 
for us for, for these weekends this summer, uh, so they should become collector's items. Mm. To, uh, <laughs> it's quite a thing. Coombe Sunday is the name to remember. So from 2.30 this afternoon, I would say whereabouts is it, but if you turn up in Castle Coombe, you can't miss it. Yeah, it's actually one thing. It's definitely in the main village, not in the race circuit. Yeah. But um, get yourself down there. There's, there's car parks. You, you'll see marshals and things. They'll tell you to point you in the right direction. And People wearing T-shirts. Yes. Like yeah. Got the Coombe yeah. Sunday T-shirt on. If you want to find out more as well, um, there is a website, which is pretty comprehensive because I've been looking at it, www Coombe Sunday, remember there's only one O in Coombe, coombesunday.co.uk and it starts at 2.30 this afternoon. Will, good luck with it. Thank you very much. And enjoy the singing later. Yeah, will do. We'll and enjoy do. the special brew as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday breakfast, 28 minutes to nine. You do cool rides to school and five-year-old kids are very, very noisy. You lot are a lot older, so you should be a lot noisier. On the count of three, I want cheering, I want clapping, I want screaming, don't stop. One, two, three! Yeah! Right, we have a small problem. That was rubbish, all right? Only a small problem, because I know you're going to do better. Once more, because we're recording it over the back. Are you ready? Three, two, one, now! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coombe Sunday. Spend all the money you have, and then spend even more. You know when you go to the car and you've got a few 20 p's for the car park? Nip and get that. Spend that as well, all to raise money to help save St Andrew's Church. I'm now going to hand you back to Dr Doolittle for the afternoon. Enjoy the afternoon, and all it leaves us to say is we declare Coombe Sunday officially open! Hello! Good afternoon! Yeah. Welcome to Coombe Sunday. Those of you that don't know me, I'm sure anyone who's from the village, who's grown up with the history and traditions of Castle Coombe, will recognise me as one of the village's more famous inhabitants. The uh, youngsters among you may know my better known um, and more recently famous American cousin. My name is Doolittle and I'll be your host for the afternoon. Welcome to Coombe Sunday. Thank you very much. We have an absolutely fantastic lineup of events, festivities, games and all sorts of jollity taking place for you this afternoon. The sun will continue to shine, I've no doubt, and we'll have a great afternoon. Taking place on this stage, we've got performances from some of the South West's hottest bands, some of them from the village, some from further afield. Um, you're going to dance, you're going to sing along with them, you're going to have a fantastic time. Also taking place around you, as you can see, up and down the village, we've got all sorts of stalls and games taking place, and I'd just like to mention uh, a few other things that we've got. some from friends as well, because all this is in a fantastic cause. This afternoon is all about raising money for St Andrew's Church, um, so please dig deep into your pockets to do that for them.
the recording there. Yeah. Which I'm sure Becky will appreciate. <laughs> guises and different names over the past few years. Their single, Pylon, is available at the merchandise stand for the Prince of Sum, just three pounds, for three songs, I think. Uh, so, pound a song, good value for money. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Orangutan! There's a song called Brown Eyed Headcase. I think you're such a star. Thank you. 
side of the country. Side of the road felt the summer's first day and how it flowed. Just walking through the fields and trees, found a nice cool spot. It was shaded by leaves. Pulled out my bright silk tin. Popped it, got stuck right in. attitude is towards obesity at the moment and have you any particular views? <laughs> I'm, I'm the official mugshot snapper. Not the shirts, not the shirts. Not the shirts. Actually, I think the camera's having problems with that shirt. I think we're almost there. Uh, finally, I'll thank Touch PA. 
who've done an absolute sterling work. They've worked their socks off all day. Without them, we wouldn't have heard anything. Uh, so, you know, guys, thank you ever so much. You've done brilliant work. Um, that's it. Nothing more to do than to hand over to the Hucklebreeze. Guys, give these guys a tremendous round of applause. You're going to have an amazing time.
we spend a long time dead So what's to say life goes on in your head Don't let it get you Cross, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to look amazing. And he's going to cut cardboard over all the plants to stake the little ground. Could you explain exactly what's going on at this moment in time, yeah, Mr it's, Thomas? Yeah, it's, it's a... Um it's a lovely toilet seat that, that, that uh, leaves a white imprint on your bottom when you sit on it. And you, oh, that would be on. very nice. Yeah, it's That's going to attract a lot of visitors, I would imagine. Uh, well, probably only one, because once you step to it, your bum hairs will get so firmly stuck that you won't be able to get off. Excellent. Have you got any particular comments to make at this moment in time? <laughs> no, nothing really? Okay.